Have you ever looked for a quick and easy way to create an emblem for your gaming clan? If your answer is yes, then you're in the right place. Hi there everyone, my name is Andrei Marius and in this Embaro Trust Plus tutorial I will show you how to make this cool emblem in Adobe Photoshop. If you don't have the time to learn how to create the emblem on your own, you can always try the Emblem Maker from Placeit. As you can see you can find plenty of alternatives. Once you find a design that fits your needs, select it. And with just a few clicks you can adjust the mascot, the text, the font used, the color of the text or the color of the design. Let's open Photoshop to create our new document. Select pixels from this drop down menu, set the width and the height to 850 pixels. Make sure that the resolution is set to 72 pixels per inch and the color mode to RGB and then click this button to create your new document. Press Ctrl and 0 to fit the canvas on your entire screen and then go to view to enable the grid and the smart guides and then go to snap to to enable the snap to grid feature. Now for this tutorial you will need a grid line every 5 pixels so let's go to Edit, Preferences, Guides, Grid and Slices. Enter 5 in this grid line every box. Keep the subdivision set to 1. Change the color of your grid to light gray. Select this dotted style for your grid. Click OK. And before we start the work on the design, let's open the panels that will be used throughout this tutorial. Just go to Window in the menu bar and open the Character panel, the Color panel, the Info panel, the Layers panel and the Properties panel. Once you're done, you can start by selecting the ellipse from your toolbar and you need to create a 460 by 530 pixels shape. You can either click and drag to create this shape or much easier you can click on your canvas, enter 460 for the width, 530 for the height, Click OK and you got your shape. Switch to the Move tool to move this shape. And as you can see, thanks to the Smart Guides, you can easily move this shape in the center of the canvas. Now that you have this shape, let's switch to the Convert Point tool and click this point to turn it into a corner point. Continue with the rectangle tool and use it to create a 460 by 265 pixels shape. Move this new shape in this point. Reselect the ellipse tool and this time create a 460 by 100 pixels shape. Move this new shape like this. Switch back to the convert point tool and use it to convert these two points into corner points and then move to the layers panel hold down the shift key to easily select all these shapes right click on one of them and go to merge shapes which will merge all your shapes switch to the direct selection tool so you can remove the stroke applied for this shape change the fill color to red 10 green 9 and blue 25 Click OK to apply the change and now double click your shape inside the layers panel so you can open this layer style window and enable the stroke. Start by increasing the stroke size to 60, change the position to inside, keep the blend mode set to normal, increase the opacity to 100%, change the color to 0, 251 and 150. Click OK and then click this plus button to add a second stroke for your shape. Keep it selected, lower the stroke size to 30, keep the rest of the settings as they are and change the stroke color to 10, 9 and 25. Click OK and OK and now select the move tool from your toolbar. Press Ctrl and A to load a selection around your entire canvas and then using these two buttons you can easily move your shield in the center of the canvas. Once you're done press Ctrl and D to get rid of the selection around your canvas and reselect the rectangle tool to create a 490 by 160 pixels shape. 
let's align it with the bottom edge of your shield shape and then hold down the shift key and drag this shape 135 pixels up now go to edit transform and warp select arc lower from this drop down menu set the bend to minus 15 percent press enter to apply the transformation and move to the character panel where you need to select the bond on van font set the size to 150 change the color to white and then grab the horizontal type tool from your toolbar just click on your canvas to type in panda use the move tool to place the text around this area go again to edit transform and warp again select our cloud from this menu set the bend to minus 20 percent press enter again to apply the transformation adjust the location of the text a bit and then reselect the rectangle tool from your toolbar create a 290 by 70 pixels shape let's remove the stroke color applied for this new shape use the move tool to place this new shape like this and return to the character panel keep this font but lower the size to 40 increase the tracking to 500 and change the color of the text to 0 251 and 159 Reselect the horizontal type tool from your toolbar and use it to type in gaming. Use the move tool to move this new text around this area. And now that you have the shield and the text, it's time to add the panda mascot. You can disable the visibility of these shapes and select the ellipse tool from your toolbar. Start with a 350 by 330 pixels shape. Remove the stroke applied for this new shape and change the fill color to white and then go to edit, transform and warp. Select shell lower from this menu and lower the bend to 5%. Press enter to apply the transformation and then move to the layers panel to double click this shape and open the layer style window. Enable this top stroke. Keep the rest of the settings, just lower the stroke size to 20 pixels and then enable the inner shadow effect. Change the blend mode to normal and the color to 0, 251 and 159. Increase the opacity to 100%, disable the global light and set the angle to minus 90 degrees. Move the sliders to 40, 0 and 0. Click OK and go to View, Fit Layer on Screen to zoom in on your selected shape. Press Ctrl minus to zoom out a bit and then click again on your canvas to create a 70 by 30 pixels shape. You can double click it to change the fill color with this. Click OK. Let's use the Move tool to place this new shape like this. And then hold down the shift key and drag it 145 pixels up. Now go to edit, transform and warp. From this menu select arc lower. Set the bend to 30%. Press enter to apply the transformation. Reselect the ellipse tool from your toolbar and create a 125 by 85 pixels shape. Again, go to edit, transform and warp. Select fisheye from this menu. Set the bend to 30. Press enter to apply the transformation and go again to edit, transform and warp. This time select arch from this drop down menu. Set the bend to 20%. Press enter to apply the transformation and then press ctrl and T to rotate this shape 45 degrees like this. Once you are done, press again enter to apply the transformation. Switch to the move tool and let's move this shape like this. First align it with the bottom edge of the nose, then drag it to the right until you get the smart guide. 
and then move this shape only 15 pixels to the left. Now hold down the Alt key to drag a copy of this shape to the left. You can also hold down the Shift key to keep the movement horizontally. Go to Edit, Transform and Flip Horizontal to flip this copy. And then let's move it to the left to get the Smart Guide. And then go 15 pixels to the right. Reselect the ellipse tool from your toolbar. Create a 40 pixel circle and drag it 25 pixels below the nose. Reselect the ellipse tool and this time create a 130 pixel circle. Move it in this location. Let's drag it below the rest of the shapes that make up your panda and then double click it to open the layer style window and start by enabling the inner shadow effect. Just lower the distance to 30 pixels, enable the stop stroke and lower the size to 10 pixels, click OK and then hold down the Alt key to drag a copy of this shape to the right, like this. Reselect the ellipse tool and select the stop shape from the layers panel to make sure that the new shapes that you are about to create will go on top of it. Let's create a 100 pixel circle. Now hold down the Alt key which will allow you to subtract from this shape. Let's create a 130 pixel circle. Hold down the spacebar to move this shape in this exact location. And then release the mouse button to subtract your shape like this. Switch to the rectangle tool from your toolbar. And again hold down the Alt key to subtract a 50 pixel square from this shape like this. Grab the move tool and move this shape around this area and then hold down the Alt key and drag a copy to the left. Go to edit, transform and flip horizontal to flip this shape and again move it to the left like this. Now finally reselect the ellipse tool from your toolbar. Create a 30 pixel circle. Change the fill color with white. Let's move it in this exact location and then drag a copy to the left, move it like this and now you have your mascot. Let's focus on the layers panel and hold down the shift key to select all the shapes that make up your panda. Press Ctrl and G to group them and then press Ctrl and 0 to zoom on your entire canvas. Now you can turn back on the visibility for the rest of your design. Move this mascot in this location. Press Ctrl and comma to disable the grid. Select all the elements that make up your design. Right click on one of them and go to convert to smart object. Hold down the Alt key and double click this background layer to unlock it. And then double click it one more time to open the layer style window and enable the gradient overlay. Just set the angle to minus 45 degrees and then click this gradient thumbnail to adjust the colors of your gradient. Double click this color stop and grab this color. Click OK and then double click this other color stop. Grab this color, click OK, OK and once again OK. Select your smart object and press Ctrl J to duplicate it. And then select this bottom smart object and press Ctrl T to transform it. Let's double the size of the smart object, press enter to apply the transformation, lower the opacity to 10% and then double click this other smart object and enable the stroke. Set the size to 20 pixels, adjust the position to outside, change the color to white and then enable the drop shadow effect. Keep the blend mode set to normal and the color to black. Increase the opacity to 50%, keep the angle set to 90 degrees, let's increase the distance to 30 pixels and the size to 60 pixels, click OK and with this final touch your design is complete. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, remember to hit that like button as it helps me know that I did a good job. Subscribe if you aren't already and don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of any new tutorials. If you are looking to learn even more, you can check out some of the other tutorials that Envalotas Plus has to offer. I'm Andrei Marius and I'll see you in the next video.